All right, y'all, trying to test out a new camera rig here. Well, actually, it's just, you know, I got it attached to my backpack. Kind of a point of view angle here. I wanted to go see some stuff, walk up the beach, but man, the weather is nasty. But that's okay. We're gonna hop in the car anyway. See what we can see. Hey, <laughs> what's up, y'all? It is Sunday. I have no idea what the number is. What is it, 4th or 5th of April? Anyway, it's a gorgeous day in Patia today. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe not so much. It is a little nasty out. Let me go ahead and let these people by. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, 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 go. You can go, 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 go. Standing out in the rain, getting wet. Come on, come on. There you go. You made it. They're not, they're not used to us letting them go. They usually just wait for a gap and then they try to go. People aren't used to you stopping. <laughs> for them to go go by that's why it's kind of dangerous to cross the street here in busier cities and towns because people don't don't recognize pedestrians and they will run your ass down in a in a heartbeat you got to be a little careful you can do a little hand trick where you hold out your hand but yeah yeah that doesn't always work either <laughs> anyway yeah it is uh it's coming down here in Petia today but that's good we need water for the reservoir always need water all right, what's up, y'all? Got my GoPro attached to the backpack. <laughs> Trying this one out. I don't know if this is gonna work. It might be too bouncy. I don't know. Anyway, just had our big storm blow through. Yes, this video is all over the place. Then I was driving on Beach Road, now I'm walking on Beach Road. <laughs> Anybody confused yet? <clears throat> They're getting ready for their kite festival. See all the kites out there? I think it starts on the 9th, I wanna say. Like the 9th through the 19th of April. That should be interesting. Not sure if I'll be here for that or not. I might catch like one day of it. Not much coming up here. I want to get back on the road right away, but I do have uh, medical appointments on the eight. Get my annual checkup, try to do a video about that. And then uh, not gonna be cheap either. Whew. Going to uh, Bangkok, uh, anyway, they call it Bangkok Hospital, but it's here in Pattaya, obviously. But like a big private hospital, but I'm like paying for this executive package, I think is what they call it. Executive checkup, something like that. Anyway, more on that later. Not too bad out here, didn't, uh, the rain didn't erode away too much. It's like the storm drains work today. It wasn't that heavy of a rain. It was pretty good, but it wasn't like crazy. Pretty impressive thunderstorm though, it sounded cool. I do kind of hope this new mount works out. You know, the problem is it doesn't use a cage, so I can't mount my, my wireless microphone, but I can probably figure out something for that. But as a matter of fact, I just, I just thought of something. <laughs> That took a long time. Should be an easy way to fix that problem. But anyway, I definitely like the idea. And I like having my backpack with me anyway, in case I need some other gear or just want to put my, I hate carrying keys or change or money. I hate carrying anything in my pockets. If I can carry my backpack versus having it in my pockets, I dig that much more. Is the new pumps here at Patia. Looks like they did their job today. So it's so amusing to talk about the doom and gloomers. I love talking about doom and gloomers because they just got to see the negative and everything. And I'm looking at all these beach vendors who came back after being basically destroyed during all the lockdowns and beach closures and everything that happened. And they're all back, every single one of them, every single open spot that they were on before they occupy again. And there's customers there especially on the weekends, of course. And whatever your opinions are about the virus, whatever, I don't care. You know, whatever you want to believe about it, that's fine. I'm just looking at the reality of things here and what people keep saying about Patia and what's gonna happen here. All right, world famous walking street. I ain't walked down here in a long time. During the shutdown, I was doing a, I was walking out here almost every day. Got all the construction going on. Don't look too bad though. Again, a lot of negativity about doing some improvements to Walker Street, I, which I just don't understand. First of all, it's not that intrusive right now. They dug some holes and now they removed the equipment, covered up the holes with some metal until they get back to the next phase. It's not really that dramatic. The street is still fully functional. Yeah, yeah. Clothes signs, for rent signs, signs blacked out. 
Got to give it time, y'all. Got to give it time. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Okay, here's probably the biggest piece of equipment. Not that bad. Can still get around it. Bali High Pier. How will Colon ever recover when there's just hundreds of people out here returning from their long weekend on the island? I just don't get it. How can they survive like that? <laughs> yeah, y'all. Domestic tourism is up and looking good. Sure, it's probably a little slow during the week, but I'll tell you what, it's a whole lot better than nothing. And they're definitely getting some good weekend dollars. It is busy down here. Busy. Good to see you. Get my steps in, y'all. Getting my steps in. I really do miss walking out here. Not a huge fan of this big building, but uh, it would have been cool if they ever finished it, but I definitely love coming down here and seeing the Patia sign, doing more improvement. <laughs> Just, I love this because it seems like some of the things that people complain about get fixed. And it's not because they complain, it's because they'd already planned on fixing it anyway. So it was kind of pointless to complain about it. Why don't you just give them some time and see if they fix it. They fix this fountain, which is not currently on because there's no tourists. So I don't think they want to waste the electricity, but they did fix it. Now they're out here building bathrooms at Valley High, which is really cool. Still big plans in the works to get rid of this building. I know the I know the city government wants to get rid of it, but you know, obviously there's a there's a little drama over that. It's not gonna happen overnight, that's for sure. Crazy low tide today. Can y'all see how low that water is? Wow, it is way out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They're uh, changing out the props on this uh, this little cargo ship. That looks like not a fun job. It's a good thing the tide went out, so this thing beached so they could actually work on it without taking it out of the water. That worked out well for them. Only problem is if they don't get the job done before the tide comes back in. <laughs> I wish them luck. Good luck, fellas. You can do this. <sighs> so what's the verdict, guys? You hate this or like it? I don't know. Kind of like how the camera's mounted here. I know you don't get to see my pretty face, but this way I don't have to put on so much makeup. <laughs> it's hard to look this good, man. Oh well, if some of you listen to me as a podcast, this will be easier anyway. You don't have to see me. Just listen to the soothing sounds and tones of my voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm never gonna be a radio DJ. I forgot about this too. There used to be a like, I don't know, some kind of artificial walkway, plastic walkway, whatever. It was falling apart. Whatever, it looked pretty bad, but it's gone. Again, just give them a little time and they'll fix it. All good now. I don't know if they're gonna put a new material down, but this is fine. It's just concrete now, whatever. It works. Everybody getting their selfies on out here. <laughs> you go, folks, you go. They're improving this whole area right here. They're gonna turn into like a little adventure park. Should be kind of cool there was actually one kind of a skate park down that way but a little dangerous right beside the road i'm not, I'm not sure why they why they put it there and there was no protection but this area is much wider and there's not as much traffic right here so that should be pretty legit just one more improvement patia doing his thing Let's give you a little sneak peek in here i don't think there's much going on yet but they just kind of started this project yeah yeah, just getting started. So, big things in the future. <laughs> the calm after the storm. So the big storm is long gone. And now the water is super flat and peaceful. Still a bunch of people out here left over from the weekend. Not bad at all. Definitely a lot of folks down there. Don't know how well that's coming out on camera, but there's a lot of people on the beach today. Very peaceful Sunday. Oh, happy Easter, by the way. You guys are probably watching this after Easter, or I might get it out today. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this video yet. But anyway, 
Hope you had a good Easter. Okay. Now you guys don't ever complain that I don't take you to Soy 6. There it is. Happy? Okay, I'm going. <laughs> hey, it's me. What's up, y'all? Just got me a little snack from Tops. Let's see what our total was today. Anyway, total, we did an hour 46, 10.3 kilometers, 963 calories. Nice. Whew. And I still got to walk about 300 meters, 200 meters or so to my apartment. Yeah. Good times. Anyway, did you miss me? <laughs> what do y'all think about that angle? Anyway, good times, good times. We'll see you on the next video, y'all. Be cool. James Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand, and I'm out. So fast.